So, hello everybody. My name is Rohit. I'm a software engineer here at Paragat Technologies. And uh, today we are going to show you a tutorial on a uh, basic Android application uh, using SQLite database in Kotlin. Okay. So Kotlin is uh, uh, officially supported uh, uh, programming language for Android development by Google. Okay. So let me show you how our application is going to look like so this is basically a contact application just like you have in your mobile phone and uh, uh, here we have uh, options to add a new contact okay uh, edit existing contact and uh, delete uh, the existing contact okay so uh, let's get uh, started with the code itself okay so this is a manifest file of our application uh, in which we have basically two activities okay the first activity is the main activity here you can see a main activity and a launcher uh, category okay uh, here we also have another activity called add or edit a contact activity uh, which is secondary activity and uh, i have declared parent activity as a main activity okay uh, so this is a gradle file okay inside this gradle file i have added uh, three additional plugins okay kotlin android is must for android development okay uh, for kotlin language uh, these two are optional but uh, these add uh, additional features uh, for uh, programming so this is our gradle file and uh, our uh, layout files for our uh, activities This is our main layout, uh, our main activity layout. Uh, in which uh, I have a coordinator layout, a list view, okay, root layout as a coordinator layout, list view, and a floating action button. The floating action button, I have uh, position of the floating action button is defined by the gravity layout, gravity attribute. Okay, the another activity. Uh, is uh, add or edit contact activity so uh, this contains uh, two uh, edit text and uh, uh, a save or update button okay the next layout is our uh, list view item layout okay so uh, here i have uh, two text fields that is a name one for name one for uh, uh, the mobile number and uh, two images one for editing uh, the existing contact and another one for deleting existing contact it would appear on the list item itself okay so uh, let's get started with our code now apart from that i have uh, created a file okay a kotlin file uh, which contains uh, a few constants that is uh, here, yeah, this is the way we are going to create constants for uh, using throughout our application. Okay, and uh, so uh, first thing we are going to need is uh, a database. So let's get started with the database. We are going to extend our database helper class, my SQLite Open Helper. SQLite Open Helper. And now we are going to Okay, now we are going to uh, overload a constructor. So this is the constructor. Uh, in Kotlin, we have constructor uh, in the uh, class name itself. And now we are going to implement the methods, the two methods on create and on upgrade. We are also going to need, uh, we are also going to make uh, this database class as a, a singleton class. So, uh, for creating singleton class, we are going to define a companion. Companion object. So, anything we write inside the companion object uh, is basically a static, as we don't have static keyword in Kotlin. So, um, inside this companion object, we are going to create instance. We 
which will be of uh, type database helper it is going to be null initially and uh, now we are going to define a method method is defined by uh, fu and fun keyword to get instance uh, get instance uh, inside the get instance we will accept a context which will return object of a database helper inside of this get instance we are going to check if instance is null and if instance is null we are going to create an instance equal to database name from the constants factory object you can provide null and uh, uh, the final work is database version okay so here we have instance ready and we are simply going to return return this instance uh, with the null check okay the final two explanation mark uh, add the null check okay uh, so we have our constructor ready now we are going to need a create query create database query so uh, let's create statement uh, we are also going to need some constants so these are the database constants uh, that is a table name and ID name and number are the three columns we are going to have We have also created uh, a POJO class uh, with these three parameters uh, with ID, name, and number, which has a primary constructor, a parameterized constructor. Okay, and we have also implemented parsellable to pass uh, the object of this contact class from one activity to another activity uh, by overriding two methods that it describe contains write to parcel and a creator uh, creator field that is a static field generally in Java in uh, Kotlin, we are going to define it inside the companion object. Okay, so this is our and one more constructor we are going to need, which will accept a parcel object. Okay, so uh, a contact class which is a parcelable. Back to our database helper class. So inside on create, we are going to create. Let's check SQL. Create SQL. A null check is necessary. Okay. And then few other methods we are going to need uh, are add contact, update contact, a delete contact, and uh, get all contacts. Okay. So uh, let's just define one of these methods one by one. Function add contact. will accept name as a string 
numbered as a string. And which would return a log value. Okay, that is number of rows that are adding. Okay. First thing we are going to need is a contained value. So we have add contact ready. Just like this, we are going to define one more function that is update contact. Update contact, which will return an integer value. Update function returns an integer value. Uh, here we are going to need one more field. increment id as you can see our create query that is create table contacts table uh, id which is integer for every auto increment which will be incremented automatically okay we don't need to provide this id field okay and uh, name and number so we are going to uh, in update contact we are going to update the existing contact with the help of this id okay Methods ready. The last method that is get all contacts. Now 
which will return an array list of contact class so first just create an array list array list of contact equal to array list okay and uh, now we are going to need cursor object equal to this dot writable database dot query contact table mm, array of columns we are going to need so array of id comma name comma number okay We don't have any selection string, so uh, you can just put null here. Okay, sorry. We need to define it as. Cursor. So as we have cursor on our data set, we are going to iterate through the data set if cursor dot move to sorry move to first and do while loop cursor dot Inside this do while loop, we are going to create object of a contact. We have con as a contact equal to contact. Okay. And now just uh, add fields to this con. Okay. Dot id equal to Cursor dot get end zero con dot name equal to con dot number equal to cursor dot get string two let's just add this to our list and finally just return this list okay so here we have our database class ready uh, you can see we have get all contacts function a delete contacts update contacts okay uh, add contact on create function uh, create query and a companion object which makes uh, our database helper a singleton class okay let's just move to main activity and uh, uh, in the main activity we are going to need an adapter so let's just create an adapter for our list view so Class contacts adapter extend it with base adapter. Now just implement the methods. Oh, 
so we have implemented uh, the methods uh, I already have uh, this uh, adapter ready so uh, let me just paste whole thing and explain uh, in a brief uh, instead of uh, typing whole thing okay uh, so just to make the video uh, a little less lengthy okay so um, let's just remove these errors first Inside our contacts adapter, we have two variables uh, and that is a list and a contact and a context. Okay, so uh, we have a primary constructor, a parameter is constructor. Sorry, in the parameter is constructor, we are accepting a context object. Okay, uh, and uh, you have to provide uh, this as a uh, super keyword, just like we have super in, uh, uh, in Java, we have this. Uh, in the uh, constructor definition itself okay so uh, we will be accepting uh, this we will be initializing the list inside the list we are accepting uh, we are calling a get all contacts method from the database okay so database helper get instance uh, singleton class okay uh, context uh, by adding not null check and get all contacts okay so here we have get all contacts okay so we have our list populated of a context is ready okay so these three methods get item will return uh, the current position uh, item id will just return uh, the whatever the uh, get item will return the current uh, object okay current object at current index get item id will return the current index sorry and uh, get count will return the total size of our list okay so the main method is our uh, get view method okay which actually returns a view okay and uh, from inside this method we are getting reference to our uh, uh, members in our uh, list item that is name number uh, edit icon and the delete icon okay so we will just get a reference to these uh, these numbers these members okay and then we are going to set uh, set values of the text fields that is a name and a number that is text name txt name dot text equal to list dot get position dot get name dot name and uh, dot number okay uh, and we are also going to set uh, on click listeners uh, inside the get view method itself uh, to edit icon and to delete icon so ing edit dot set on click listener so as you can see on click listener is also much more simpler in kotlin than compared to java okay no inline functions and all so uh, lambdas uh, it is basically a lambda function so lambdas are the great thing in the kotlin so we are going to create intent of the add or edit contact activity okay these are another activity uh, here we are going to process our uh, uh, process our data basically okay uh, we are also going to put some uh, string extras that is uh, what what action to be done that is update or add as we are going to going to be updating from inside the list item let's just say update okay uh, contact key uh, that is a uh, contacts object the current object in the list we are going to pass as an argument uh, as it is a parsellable class okay so contact key list dot get position as parsellable it is a type it is casting we are casting this list object as a, a parsellable okay and then uh, we are going to start the activity also on uh, delete uh, on deleting on click of uh, delete image we are going to be calling uh, delete contact method of our database as we have defined in the 
or a database helper delete contact okay so um, we are going to be deleting with the help of this id and when we remove and we are going to be deleting from the database also we are going to remove from uh, this uh, object from our list and we are going to be calling notify data set changed to refresh our list view okay and uh, uh, now just set adapter to our list view dot adapter equal to contacts adapter which accepts this at main activity okay so we have adapter ready uh, let's just create a global variable for this adapter uh, so We have set the adapter okay and now we are going to add action on uh, click action on floating action button okay so here we have our floating action button fab1 fab1 dot set on click listener okay so uh, from inside uh, on click listener what we are going to do is uh, uh, we are going to be starting uh, we are going to be starting the uh, add or we are going to be adding contact to our local database okay so where intent intent equal to intent okay and uh, this intent object is going to accept uh, the current contacts this at main activity comma and uh, and double colon class dot jump okay so we have our intent ready uh, we are also going to add some extra intent dot put extra need to be done that is add as uh, we have added update action uh, from inside the list view uh, on the floating action button we are going to perform the add action okay so uh, let's uh, so okay okay so we have uh, uh, added uh, what attribute so just start activity start activity intent okay and uh, 
the next activity is uh, add contact uh, add or edit contact activity so uh, instead of uh, uh, writing whole activity uh, uh, let's just copy paste it and uh, I will explain uh, what is happening inside this activity for the sake of uh, making the video uh, shorter okay so inside we have uh, this uh, add or edit contact activity we will be uh, checking the action uh, we are sending with the intent intent dot get string extra what dot equals add if uh, uh, the action is add uh, we will be changing the uh, text of the button as save if uh, the action is update uh, that is else we will be changing the text to update and uh, on uh, we will be changing it to update and setting the uh, name and number field as received uh, through the parsable contact object okay so uh, edt name dot text equal to con dot name as editable okay uh, as it, uh, in kotlin it may throw an error so instead just use set text And again, instead of text, use set text. Okay. Uh, add uh, on click listener on uh, the button that is activity add or edit button. Set on click listener. Uh, if action is add, we will be calling method add contact and finish the activity. If action is uh, other than add, that is update. We are going to be calling update contact function and uh, finish the activity. Uh, uh, let's let me show you the add contact and update contact function. In the add this is add contact and update con contact function. In our con add contact function, we would be first validating the input. This is our validate input function, which will be returning uh, true or false value based on uh, if uh, whether the uh, fields are empty or not. If fields are empty, uh, it will show a toast message that please fill all the fields. Okay. If uh, uh, we have added uh, filled all the fields, then it would return uh, true. So we will be validating input. Uh, well, if input is not empty, if edit text fields are not empty, uh, we will be uh, adding uh, the contact to the database or updating the contact. Okay. So uh, in the update contact method. Uh, we will be supplying id and uh, let's just supply the text value of uh, actual edit text field Okay, so we have add contact and uh, update contact function, validate input function, uh, on options item selected function for uh, uh, and inside we will be uh, finishing the activity on back button click that is uh, android.r.id.com button. Okay, so uh, this is our uh, add or edit contact activity which is showing some error. I'm sorry too straight okay so error is gone so uh, I think we are pretty much done with the, uh, with the with this tutorial so let's just run this once It may take some time uh, for building your project for the first time.
I love project builds. Let's just uh, review what uh, we have done. So first, we created a database server class. We made it a singleton. Uh, sing we made it a singleton class. Okay. A create query, and we then we added four functions: that is add contact, update contact, delete contact, and get all contacts. Okay. Uh, then from the main activity, we created uh, uh, a base adapter object that is contacts adapter contacts adapter and uh, from this contacts adapter uh, we added uh, on click listener for our edit button edit contact button and delete contact button okay and inside our add or edit contact activity or it contact activity we uh, are checking the action uh, whether we have to perform the add action or the update action okay uh, so I think our project build uh, may have failed so uh, you may face uh, such problem in this case uh, you can just clean your project one or two times and, uh, and then it would uh, then it would run So uh, building this project may take some time. So let me just show you the output. Okay. Uh, so uh, we will check our functions one by one. We will first add one contact. We have saved this contact to our database. Let's just edit this contact. Jack arrow and uh, let's just update the number to something else. We have updated the contact. We can delete a contact uh, if we have. Uh, if you want to update the contact, if you left any field empty and try to update, it will show you as a toast message. Please fill all the fields. It will finish. Okay. So uh, this was uh, our video on uh, Android SQLite application using Kotlin. So uh, that's it. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, bye.